look, I don't like how these three teams get so much publicity. It, it does get old after a while. So I hope, I just hope that that uh, these teams can finally get back on track. Yeah, you definitely. So we you know, can stop hearing about well, why they're doing so bad and the excuses that the media gives them. Real quick before we let you go, Cameron. From what you've okay. seen, from what you've seen so far this season, who are your, what what's your Super Bowl prediction? Oh, that's why that's why I ask everyone on my show too. That's a no, not a lot of people ask me that, but uh, I want to look. I want to say Houston and San Francisco, but I don't know. I or uh, that's been the first one I'd probably choose, and the second one I'd probably have to say the Patriots. And, you know, the Falcons. I mean, I'm not, it's so, this season, I've never, out of all the times I've seen the NFL, I've never seen a season like this where there isn't a clear, clear dominant team, where there's one team out there that can flat out dominate everyone else. I've not seen that yet. I think we just have a lot of great teams in the NFL. And whoever gets hot in the playoffs, that's what matters most. You can be a sixth seed. We've seen that with the Giants. It doesn't matter what seed. If you can get into the, you know, like some coaches say, the big dance, and you can get hot, and you get to the Super Bowl, and you got a great quarterback and a great pass defense, it can go very, you can go very far, and you can be hoisting that Lombardi Trophy. And you know, look, New England. That's why I pick them to possibly win, or that's why I pick Houston, or that's why I pick you know a team like Atlanta or San Francisco because they can get really hot. I think in the playoffs, those four teams. So uh, I think those are the four teams that I would pick um, to be. Those are the four possibilities, the four teams that I think could possibly hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Well, that's a very it's a very good prediction, Cameron, and thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Chris. That was Cameron Sadegi from Cameron's All Out Sports Show. Quick commercial break. When we get on back, we will be just going over the uh, NCAA basketball scores as well as the NBA scores, and that'll be it for Chris's Corner. You're listening to Chris's Corner on Speaker.com. Welcome back to Chris's Corner, our final segment of the show today. Great job by uh, Stephen Hughes and Cameron Sadegi, our national sports correspondents here on Spreaker.com, giving their insights on college football and the NFL. Real quickly, we'll look over in the NBA right now. Cavaliers and Magic just got underway. Hawks and Bobcats tonight. Bobcats are 6-4. Six 6-4. and four. Six and four. Thunder and Celtics. In in the past, this would be a huge matchup. Celtics are six and six this season. Yeah. Clippers visit the Nets. That should be a very good game. In Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Raptors visit the Pistons in battle of worst teams in the NBA. Spurs visit the Danny Grangerless Pacers in Indiana. And the Lakers will get another tough test early in the season. They're six and six. Are the Lakers zero and three on the road? Grizzlies are looking to make that 0-4 tonight. It's the matchup of the Gasol brothers tonight as well down in the paint. Knicks and Rockets. Knicks off to an 8-2 start. Are they for real? Jeremy Lin will be going up against his old team in Houston. Warriors visit the Nuggets. Kings visit the Jazz. Hornets visit the Suns. And the Timberwolves will head up to Portland and play the Trailblazers. It's just so early in the NBA season. There's not much to talk about college basketball today pretty good matchups you have Duke and VCU in a tournament game neutral court Duke the number five team in the nation it was a close game at halftime it was 29 28 Duke but Duke so far here in the second half on a 14-4 run leading the VCU Rams 43-32 now Kentucky obviously not what they were last year still the number eight team in the nation 
71-50 over LIU Brooklyn at the moment. That game just got underway in the second half as well. Oakland is at number 15, Michigan State. That game just got underway, 2-0 Michigan State very early. Upset alert, North Carolina State opened up the season in the top 10, took a tough loss last week, and are on the verge of getting upset against the University of North Carolina, Asheville. That game, Asheville leads State 58-53, 10-34 remaining that game in North Carolina at North Carolina State. But certainly that would be a huge in-state upset. Oklahoma is at Gonzaga. That is part of the Old Spice Classic in Orlando, Florida. That game just underway. Gonzaga leading 18-13. Gonzaga, of course, the number 17 in the nation. Number 17 team in the nation. They are 4-0 on the season out of the WCC. Cincinnati is holding on to a 68-63 lead over 4-0 Iowa State. Cincinnati, the number 22 ranked team in the country. That game with 3.47 to go in the second and later tonight, some very good games on tap. Creighton visits Wisconsin. Missouri visits Louisville, a matchup of number two Louisville and 13 Missouri. That game at a neutral court at the Battle for Atlantis in the Bahamas. And the Oregon Ducks, yes, the Oregon Ducks do have a basketball team. They visit the number 18 UNLV Roadrunners. There have been four finals in the top 25 today. Ohio State with a blowout win, 91-45. Who is UMKC? Is that University of... You know, can you? Can somebody tell me? University of what? Anybody? The U... Okay, we're just going to call them the... The UMKC Kangaroos. Obviously, if we've never heard of them, you should expect Ohio State, the number three team in the country, to blow them out. They did exactly that today. Michigan beat Kansas State to win the NIT season tip-off tournament. Michigan's improves to 5 and 0 Kansas State that was their first loss 5 and 1 the Central Florida Knights it was around this time last year that they upset Yukon didn't have that luck again today against the Florida Gators they lost that one 79-66 Gators hosted that game and Memphis for the second straight night goes down Minnesota wins are is going to play in the championship game at the Battle for Atlantis in the Bahamas so Memphis goes down to Minnesota, 84-75. That's pretty much it. Anything to watch for? Uh, you should expect a hot stove in Major League Baseball. We didn't talk about Major League Baseball at all. At all today. Um, but certainly, uh, you should expect the hot stove to heat up with the winter meetings quickly approaching. And enjoy some college football tomorrow. Some NFL football on Sunday. You've been listening to Chris's Corner, a product of national sports on Spreaker.com. My name's Chris Sylvester, and I'm out.